Hey guys, in this video we are going to be discussing how oil pump jacks work and you've probably seen more than a few on the freeway if you drive a bit around the country and uh, it is pretty interesting stuff that entirely revolves around creating differences in pressure. And the issue with oil reservoirs is that sometimes they do not have sufficient pressure in order to make the oil or whatever is in that well come up to the surface. And so we need to add energy into our system in order to move this fluid. We need to increase the pressure in the oil reservoir somehow in order to make this fluid want to come up to the surface. And so, as you know, with oil pump jacks, because you can see it, um, at the top of it, you've got this thing right here that likes to rotate, and it's causing this sucker rod to move up and down in the ground. And so if we were to dig underneath the ground, what we find is that this sucker rod is moving around some solid tubing. And then once we get down to the oil reservoir itself, our solid tubing becomes perforated tubing. So it's porous, meaning that the crude oil that is inside of the reservoir can enter and exit the perforated tubing. And oftentimes you will hear this referred to as the pump barrel. So this dashed green region is referred to as the pump barrel. And inside the pump barrel is where the magic really happens. And the two key players in the game are the traveling valve, which I will denote as TV, and the stationary valve, which I will call SV. And as we know, this is a very simple process. We have an upstroke, upstroke and a downstroke. And so during the downstroke, the traveling valve is open and the stationary valve is closed. And uh, do, what happens in this is the traveling valve is moving downwards. So as the traveling valve moves down, um, the fluid that is in front of it here is going to kind of go through it and stay inside the pump barrel. And uh, when we get enough pressure inside of our system, so we're basically the thing to remember in all of this is that our goal here is to increase the pressure inside of the reservoir uh, because the more pressure we can get the more fluid will flow into our pump barrel that is the goal at the end of the day and so um, p reservoir increases and then on our upstroke so p reservoir increases therefore oil enters the pump barrel and then on the upstroke part of this uh, process what happens is the opposite so we have our traveling valve closing our stationary valve will open and what will happen is whatever oil is in front of your traveling valve as it is moving up in this process will be pushed into the tubing that is above the reservoir and eventually make its way up to the surface here where we can begin to perform downstream processes on this in order to purify the oil to make car fuel or jet fuel or asphalt for instance. And so um, it is a very simple process that we have done for many years and Another important thing to make note of here is that this doesn't just apply to oil. People do the same process with water and uh, water wells. And you can do this process by hand, but it would take a very long time. Um, and uh, I hope that this helps clarify things for people. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.